If white is a norm, so is black. Both normal, both equal. But the police don't treat us like we're equal. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 historically accurate kids' movies. My life has taught me one lesson, Hugo, and not the one I thought it would. For this list, we're looking at the most informative and truthful live-action movies aimed at a younger audience. Since some of these true-to-life moments are big plot points in their respective films, consider this your spoiler warning. Which of these family movies inspired you to deep dive into history? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Miracle The opening news clip montage helps place this movie in history. The office of President of the United States. Billy Beer hit the shelves this week. The White House has declined to comment on the latest business venture of President Carter's brother. It's the 1980 Olympics. Since it's the height of the Cold War, the U.S. hockey team is extremely determined to beat the Soviet team. For dramatic purposes, the film adds tension between the team members, but it also included true events and dialogue that shaped the team and its goals. A chance for one night, not only to dream, but a chance, once again, to believe. While the scene where players practiced sprints after the rink lights were turned off seemed over the top, it happened. Coach Brooks's inspiring speech and the commentary of the game were also pulled right from real events. Tonight, we stay with them and we shut them down because we can't. These real moments helped create an inspiring film that shines a light on the motivations behind this historical victory. Number 9. An American Girl Story Melody 1963 – Love Has to Win While the main character of this movie didn't exist, the incidents in her hometown accurately depicted struggles faced by black people at the time. Why don't you just go back to Africa? Do you hear what I said? If you don't like America, go back to your own stupid country. The story focuses on a young black girl named Melody Ellison facing discrimination during the height of the civil rights movement. Early in the film, stories of protest and violence are heard on the radio. There were reports of police repeatedly clubbing some demonstrators and throwing one woman onto the concrete. Frank, please. One man could be seen bleeding from his skull. That leads to important discussions around equality, language, and justice. One of the key moments in the film was the 16th Street Baptist Church bombing in Birmingham, Alabama. The actual event isn't shown. However, it does affect Melody and makes her process what it means in her life. Since the time period and events are treated with respect, it's a hugely informative watch for young audiences. The school in our neighborhood doesn't even have enough books for all the students. There aren't even enough desks to go around. It's not a place where you can learn. What I'm learning at my school is that people hate me because of the color of my skin. Number 8. 42 During this inspirational film, we see how Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier in Major League Baseball. Give me something. Give me something I can hit. You want it? What are you afraid of? As with many biographies, some specific moments were altered to add drama, but many of the difficulties Robinson faced on the field were represented. These included getting hit with balls, sliced by cleats, and insulted by opposing teams. Moments captured in famous photos were also incorporated into the film. A picture of Robinson standing with his white teammate Pee Wee Reese was translated perfectly into the film. What are you thanking me for? I got family out there from Louisville. I need them to know. In order to reduce tensions between the Phillies and the Dodgers, Robinson also had to pose with coach Ben Chapman. It certainly helped that Jackie Robinson's wife, Rachel Robinson, was involved in production. She ultimately raised its authenticity and power. It takes a team. Joining together was a start. Staying together, a big step forward. But working together is how you win. Number 7. A League of Their Own Although the characters in this sports movie are fictional, the Rockford Peaches were a real team. The plot itself is also a fairly accurate reflection of how the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League came to be. They find them everywhere. North, East, South, and West, and even Canada. Players for the new All-American Girls Baseball League. It was true that the teams were started to keep baseball from fading away when the male players went to war. The organization, names, and details of the teams were pulled straight out of the history books. Believe it or not, the women did have to wear skirts and take etiquette lessons. All of your social engagements will be cleared through your team chaperones. 
Plus, each of you will have regular classes at Charm and Beauty School. For what? Every girl in this league is going to be a lady. Like in the film, the women's baseball league didn't last when men returned to the field. However, with humor and heart, a league of their own effectively captures the beginning of women's sports in the U.S. It's a pleasure to welcome you here today. It's taken many years, but you are the first women ever to be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Number 6. Remember the Titans this film was inspired by the true story of a racially integrated high school football team in 1971. I don't care if you're black, green, blue, white, or orange. I want all of my defensive players on this side, all players going out for offense over here, right now. Let's move, let's move, let's move, let's move. It primarily focuses on a black coach, Herman Boone. Not only was he expected to keep winning, but he had to bring an integrated team together in a time of heavy prejudice. Admittedly, the timing of when games occurred was altered to heighten the drama. But the team's victorious journey to the state championships is well represented overall. I know football. What you did with those boys. You were the right man for the job, coach. Your Hall of Fame in my book. They also did spend time prepping at Gettysburg College. And sadly, the tragedy of Gary Bertier's accident was also a real event. Aiming to inspire, the film gives an important look at the cultural issues and struggles of being a racially integrated sports team in this time period. You boys are doing all that you can do. Anybody can see that. Win or lose. We're going to walk out of the stadium tonight with our heads held high. Number five, Ruby Bridges. The two men in the front car will walk in front of you. We'll all go in the building together. Stay between the four of us and do not look back. No matter what happens, don't look back at the crowd. In 1960, Ruby Bridges was one of four African-American first graders selected to integrate into previously all-white schools in New Orleans. Many important events surrounding this landmark civil rights moment are accurately portrayed in this film. It was just fine with white folk when I was willing to die for this country, but you try to give my kid my... My beautiful little daughter with their kids getting there all up on my back reminding me how it's their country. Watching Ruby walk through an angry mob while being protected by federal marshals is like the photographs come to life. After all of the white children were pulled from class by their parents, Ruby actually continued in her class alone. The support of her dedicated teacher and a volunteer child psychologist are important historical elements included in the film. Some people sometimes when they feel kicked down that they don't know how to do anything else but kick other people down. And you and I both know that that's not right. Although some dialogue and small details are fiction, the film gives a faithful portrayal of this historic moment in American history. Number 4. Sarah Plain and Tall the author of the novel Sarah Plain and Tall based the events on a true account from her family history. Set in 1910, the film tells the story of a Kansas farmer who seeks a mail-order bride to help his family after the death of his wife. A kind moment to share a life with a widower and his two young children. To make a difference, their picture necessary. Oh, Papa. Ads and letters from west to east coast were not uncommon during that time period. They could basically be considered the historical version of Craigslist. I will come by train. I will wear a yellow bonnet. I will stay for one month to see if I can make a difference. Very truly yours, Sarah. Thanks to the film's costumes and sets, the movie is extremely grounded in its early 1900s setting. The amazing character portrayals by Glenn Close and Christopher Walken help create a story that feels true to the location and time period. Three-year-old farm. Crops, animals, a house. She just wasn't there. Number three, Empire of the Sun. <laughs> This story of a British child alone in a Japanese internment camp is fictional. However, it is based on the real-life experiences of author J.G. Ballard. He and his family spent time in the Shanghai International Settlement during the Japanese occupation. Great pains were taken to portray the time period as accurately as possible. <laughs> Card 
Not only did the production team receive special permission to film in Shanghai, but Steven Spielberg used period vehicles and aircraft. Ballard's experiences of running errands and admiring the Japanese and American pilots and aircraft are all depicted in the film. Number 2. Hugo Within this film about an orphaned boy searching for answers, there is a wealth of film history. Twelve-year-old Hugo searches for the creator of an automaton and discovers the mysterious filmmaker Georges Méliès. What is it? It's called an automaton. An, o an automaton? I found him abandoned in the attic at the museum. In addition, Méliès was also a toy maker, magician, and fan of automatons. Portions of his real works are shown as a part of Hugo's journey. Due to bankruptcy, many of Méliès's films were sold and melted down for the chemicals. I was forced to sell my movies to a company that melted them down into chemicals. These chemicals were used to make shoe heels. The movie is not solely about this character, but viewers will definitely learn some fascinating facts about early special effects and one of film's trailblazing artists. My life has taught me one lesson, Hugo, and not the one I thought it would. Happy endings only happen in the movies. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Hidden Figures Many people had no idea that Katherine Johnson, Dorothy Vaughn, and Mary Jackson worked with NASA as their mathematical brains until the celebrated film came out. Well, the women don't go to the briefings. I said, is there a law? Mm, let it go. So I went to all the meetings that the men had. In this story, viewers learn how three black women became instrumental in John Glenn's historic launch into orbit. Incidents like having to walk great distances to use a segregated restroom were based on the real struggles of these trailblazing women. Their tenacity against prejudice is also highlighted. Pentagon briefings are not for civilians. It requires the highest clearance. I feel like I'm the best person to present my calculations. Let this go, are you? No, I am not. You, and, and she is a woman. There is no protocol for a woman. Okay, I get meetings. that part, Paul. Plot lines such as Mary Jackson pursuing permission to attend graduate courses at a white high school in order to become an engineer are indeed based in reality. At its core, Hidden Figures truly highlights the real and remarkable deeds of these extraordinary women. The Russians certainly are slowing down. And you know, they can't build a damn refrigerator. How the heck they beat us into space? <laughs> <laughs> what do you ladies do for NASA? Calculate your trajectories, launch and landing. Well, you can't get anywhere without the numbers. No, sir. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.